So let's say you're in a situation like I usually am where you need to practice, but you need to practice quietly. Like you live in an apartment like I do, or you live in a house with uh, people who don't like noise so much. You need to find ways to practice quietly. Uh, the best way, I think, is to get yourself a drum pad. Um, I'd suggest uh, a real feel or a Vic Firth. They're both about the same material. They've got the same rebound as a snare drum, um, so you can get lots of good practice in, but um, the sound of a snare drum is not there. It's very, very quiet. So that, in most cases, is not going to bother the other people in your apartment building or in your home. So I'd, I'd suggest that as the number one way to uh, reduce the volume level of your practicing. You can get lots of rudimental work done. Um, any snare drum reading that you need done, any roll work, any of that stuff you're going to be able to get done with a drum pad. Um, if you need to practice with a drum set in an environment where you can't make noise, I'd recommend getting an electronic drum kit with, uh, with similar pads. There's mesh padding and there's rubber padding uh, are the two main kinds on electronic drum kits. Um, I don't have one here to show you, but um, you can find one at your local music retailer. Um, you, you, can, you can get a pretty decent kit. Uh, for the, the electronic ones that uh, make very little noise and you can practice around the whole kit, do all the things you would do with a normal drum set and make none of the noise and you can use headphones with it so you can hear everything you're doing. So those are two really good ways to reduce the volume of, uh, of your practicing.